Congressman Sablan is in his seventh term in the U.S. Congress representing the Northern Marianas. And he's about to enter his eighth term as he's running unopposed as the U.S. delegate here in the NMI. Sablan entered the halls of Congress in 2009, a political juggernaut serving on at least three House committees within earshot of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Of course, there's always something, there's always new priorities, um, you know. But, man, Tomas, um, this past uh, 14 years, um, has been good, I think, for us here. The good news? He says he helped secure 24-7 water for Saipan, advocated for teachers and veterans, and addressed CNMI labor issues. He says even in pandemic years, he remains committed to meeting constituents face-to-face. -face. This year, he continued his tradition of walking the Liberation Day parade route to greet families. I'm still able to connect to the people I represent. And of course, you know, they write to me, they, you know, visit the office here. And wrote that. But one thing that has changed is that Sablon is running as a Democrat and not an independent. Before he made his bid official, he also considered running for governor. Right now, we're at a place where I think the best place for me to be to serve our people is in Congress. No matter if I want to run for governor or not, this is in Congress and this is an agreement. This is where my wife and I agree that, okay, you know, we're in this for, to help our people, let's do this. Uh, there's, it's tempting sometimes, but no, I uh, decided no. In 2022, I'm just running right now to win the race and helping as many of the Democrats and as many of the other good candidates running for office. Those Democrats include House lawmakers Tina Zablon and Leila Staffler, the first female gubernatorial ticket in Commonwealth history. Here we are now. Um, they're the candidates for governor and lieutenant governor, and here I am as a Democrat supporting them as well. Because I think they are first, they're honest, they're truly honest. Uh, and um, number two, they offer a, a platform of what they, they plan to do if they get elected. It's no secret that Sablon and Governor Ralph Torres of Republican have a tense relationship, exchanging verbal jabs in the media. I see and learn things that they're doing that doesn't help us. No, it's a waste of time. I have better things to do. He says no matter who's governor, he serves mutual constituents. That includes working with other non-voting delegates from the territories. Ms. Wampas running as a Democrat, I support Ms. Wampas. Plus, you know, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone in D.C. besides myself. Maybe there are, of course, who remember Congressman, the late Congressman Wampat. That should give uh, Miss Wampat, uh, you know, a little kick in if she knows how to use it. Sablan may very well be entering his final term, but who his new colleague in Congress from Guam is will be decided in November. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.